Over the past few centuries, scientists have been able to explore the depths of space and uncover many fascinating phenomena that could not be explained. It is commonly believed that there are countless natural phenomena hidden in space and different planetary bodies that we are not yet aware of. The truth is that, despite all of the advancements in science, we have not yet been able to fully understand many of the phenomena happening right in front of our eyes here on Earth. While there are many natural events that we regularly observe, there are some amazing natural events that are extremely rare and have only been observed a few times. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these five amazing natural phenomena happening on Earth. Kalawi Volcano Lava Bubble one of the most amazing and powerful natural phenomena ever observed has been the lava bubbles at the Kalawi volcano in Hawaii. Kalawi is an active shield volcano that is estimated to be more than 210,000 years old. According to researchers, this volcano remained under the sea for most of its life. It emerged above sea level about 100,000 years ago. In October 1969, the United States Geological Survey released a photograph that showed a large, 65 feet tall lava bubble that seemed ready to burst at any moment. In 2018, the photo was widely shared across the internet after it was tweeted by the United States Geological Survey. The formation of such lava bubbles is a very rare phenomenon. It is known as a lava dome fountain. Usually when the volcano erupts, they throw lava in powerful jets that form hundreds of meters tall fountains. But in extremely rare cases, they form such dome fountains, which appear to be lava bubbles. Thankfully, new lava bubbles have not appeared at the Kalawi volcano for quite some time now. However, the Kalawi volcano is still an active volcano and there is still a threat of a violent eruption. Volcanic Lightning Volcanic eruptions are among the most powerful phenomena of nature on Earth. They result in huge explosions, dense smoke clouds, and catastrophic lava flows. In addition, they also result in an astonishing additional natural phenomenon known as volcanic lightning. When a volcano erupts, it can cause an electrical discharge that looks quite similar to the lightning caused by a thunderstorm. When the particles of volcanic ash collide with each other, they generate static electricity within the volcanic plume. This is why volcanic eruptions are sometimes also known as dirty thunderstorms. Unlike ordinary thunderstorms, the volcanic lightning can also happen before the formation of ice crystals in the ash clouds. Historical records show the description of volcanic lightning by Pilnay the Younger, who was a lawyer, an author, and a magistrate of ancient Rome. He described the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that happened in 79 AD. More recently, Volcanic lightning was first scientifically observed at the same Mount Vesuvius during the eruptions of 1858, 1861, 1868, and 1872. Professor Palmieri observed these eruptions from the Vesuvius Observatory, which is a surveillance center especially made for monitoring of three different volcanic areas in Italy. Since then, the phenomenon has been observed by various scientists during the subsequent volcanic eruptions in different parts of the world. A number of photos of volcanic lightning have also become quite popular during recent times. One of the most mind-blowing photos of the phenomenon was taken by Carlos Gutierrez over the Chaiten volcano in Chile. Another popular image of volcanic lightning was captured by Sergio Tapiro, who is a Mexican photographer. The photo was titled The Power of Nature, and it was captured in Colima in Mexico. Volcanic lightning has also been observed in Alaska and Iceland. Fire Rainbows Rainbows are a fascinating phenomenon of nature that is sometimes observed in specific conditions, typically immediately before or after rain. Rainbows are observed almost all over the world, and it is safe to say that the majority of people have seen them at some point in their lives. However, there is an even more fascinating phenomenon known as fire rainbows that are very rare and have only been seen by a few lucky people. This rare phenomenon has only been captured a few times on camera. A fire rainbow can be described as the rainbow colors burst around clouds. They give the appearance of flames and therefore the phenomenon is known as a fire rainbow. 
It is scientifically known as a circumhorizontal arc. In reality, it is just an optical illusion. This stunning natural phenomenon can only occur when the sun is higher than 58 degrees in the sky. A couple of other necessary conditions for fire rainbows include certain types of cirrus clouds and the sun's angle to these clouds. Basically, the ice crystals that form the cirrus clouds must have a horizontal alignment with the sun in order to refract the sunlight like a huge prism. These conditions rarely occur at the same time and therefore the phenomenon of fire rainbows is extremely rare. In March 2017, a fire rainbow fascinated the citizens in Peru. Some people thought that it was some kind of miracle, while others thought that it was due to some sort of chemicals sprayed over the clouds. Fire rainbows have been observed in different parts of the US during the past few years. Your chances of seeing a fire rainbow are best if you reside in a mid-latitude place that is located close to the equator. Still, you will need to have the right weather conditions along with the right type of clouds along with the right angle of the sun for this phenomenon to occur. Snow Rollers Snow rollers are large snow cylinders formed in some extreme and rare winter conditions in some parts of the world. This rare metrological phenomenon occurs when large amounts of snow get blown along the ground by wind. This snow accumulates material along the way and results in snowballs of varying sizes. Most of the snowballs formed as a result of snow rolling are the same size as a tennis ball. However, they often get very big and some of the largest snowballs that have been seen as a result of this phenomenon were bigger than cars. Snow rollers are also known as wind snowballs, snow bales, snow nuts, and snow donuts. Snow rollers typically have a cylindrical shape and they are often hollow from the inside. The formation of snow rollers occurs in extremely rare conditions. They require a thin surface layer of loose, wet snow that has a temperature close to the melting point of ice. In addition, the surface under this upper thin layer of snow should not be sticky. It should allow the snow to stay loose. The lower layer usually consists of power snow or ice. As this is an entirely natural phenomenon, it requires wind to move the snow. However, the wind should not be too strong as it can blow the snow apart. In the hilly areas, gravity often serves as a substitute to the wind and snow rollers can be formed from the snow that falls from a cliff or a tree. Snow rollers are more common in hilly areas. But due to the various necessary conditions, they are a very rare natural phenomenon even in the hilly areas. Some of the places where snow rollers have been observed during recent years include Ohio in the US, Ottawa in Canada and Scotland. Lucid Dreaming Lucid dreaming is one of the most mysterious phenomenon experienced by many people all over the world. A lucid dream can be described as a dream in which the person dreaming is aware that he is dreaming. During the lucid dreams, dreamers are often able to gain some control over the characters in the dream as well as the environment and the narrative of the dream. Researchers have found the first evidence of lucid dreaming in ancient writings of Aristotle. In his writings entitled On Dreams, Aristotle describes experiencing self-awareness while dreaming. A Roman physician, Galen of Pergamon, used lucid dreams for therapy. Tibetan Buddhists have also had the concept of lucid dreaming for centuries. More recently, a number of scientific studies have been conducted to understand the phenomenon of lucid dreaming. In 1968, a British psychologist, Celia Green, analysed the major characteristics of lucid dreams. According to her, lucid dreams were quite different from ordinary dreams and they were associated with a phase of sleep known as rapid eye movement sleep or REM sleep. Celia Green also linked the phenomenon of lucid dreaming with another phenomenon known as false awakenings. In 2018, a study was conducted to see if it was possible to make people experience lucid dreams by giving them a drug. During the study, 121 patients were given galantamine in a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. The results showed that some patients' ability to experience a lucid dream was increased by as much as 42% as compared to their previous six months without drugs. Ten patients who had not ever experienced a lucid dream experienced one for the first time after taking the drug. Scientists believe that galantamine allows the buildup of acetylcholine which leads to greater recollection and awareness during the dreams. There are some other theories as well about this mysterious phenomenon. 
Some scientists believe that lucid dreaming does not happen during sleep. According to their theory, it happens during a phase known as micro-awakening or brief wakefulness. Another theory about lucid dreaming states that the phenomenon occurs during both the awake state as well as the sleep state. Further research is required to understand this mysterious phenomenon of nature that has fascinated humans for thousands of years. But what do you think of these five amazing natural phenomena happening on Earth? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.